What's going on guys? JD at JD's Custom Buggies. Um, in one of our videos we discussed the difference between AC and DC CDIs and uh, someone had asked me how can I wire my buggy or what would be the quickest easiest way to change my buggy's wiring from from DC to AC um, or vice versa okay but um, this particular person wanted to go from DC to AC um, what we'll probably end up doing is a couple of different videos on wiring um, to help you kind of bring it all together I just feel if I did one video on a complete wiring system of buggy uh, it would be overwhelming so we'll take it one step at a time so this one is um, how to change the wiring in the buggy to swap your CDIs out so like we talked about in the other video <clears throat> The difference between AC and DC CDI is these pins, AC CDI, DC CDI, these pins are basically um, all the same except for one. Um, they actually are the same pin or they serve the same function, but what differentiates, differentiates them is AC, um, the power pin on the AC takes AC power, of course alternating current and on a DC it takes direct current and what that means is all magnetos um, the magneto system in your in your buggies um, you know your stator and whatnot throws out alternating current and what the rectifier does on your uh, on your buggy because you have a 12 volt battery with an electric starter um, it takes that AC power and turns it to DC power and serves as the charging system. It charges the battery, runs your accessories, your DC powered accessories, you know, lights, um, little cigarette lighter plugs that are in some of them, um, blinkers, stuff like that that are on the buggies. So it kind of is almost like a translator. It translates the AC into DC power. Um, in, you know, on a on a kickstart motorcycle, they see it doesn't have a battery. So, basically, one quick way it to tell if it's AC or DC. Obviously, if it has a kickstart or a pull start or something like that, and doesn't have electric start, it's obviously AC wired. Um, you know, units with a uh, with electric start, there has to be some sort of DC system in there or a rectifier to to, to uh, change the AC to DC. Uh, for the battery for the starter and whatnot. Um, that being said, we'll go from one way to the other. Let's say you have a DC buggy, okay, and you want to, ch to change it to AC. All right, all stators. I'm going to pull this plug over here if you can see. These are your charging wires on this plug here, all right. Um, then you have two wires on a bullet connector. The wire with the blue, the blue wire with a white tracer, is your trigger. Okay, that's always going to be in use, AC or DC. The other wire is a black wire with a red tracer, or actually a red wire with a black tracer. Okay, and that's your AC power. Now, if you look at a, I'm using it as an example because I'm familiar with them and I work on them a lot. The Trailmaster. A Trailmaster is a DC wired buggy. This wire, even though it uses the same stator, okay, this wire, when you lift the electrical box to see what everything is doing in your little electrical box on your swing arm, this wire here is not in use. It's not plugged into anything, it's just hanging, okay? And I almost want to say on, on the Trailmaster, the color code for that is uh, it, it's a, a wire with a bullet connector with a black with a white tracer. But anyway, this wire is not in use, it's just sitting. And the reason for that is, is because the wire that's powering the, D, uh, the CDI is coming right from the key switch with DC power, 12 volt power. So, um, how do we make it so we can use that same buggy with AC? Okay. Well, it's a little more complicated to go from DC to AC, and this is why. Um, a buggy like uh, a Crossfire, for example, is an AC powered buggy. Okay. Um, the way that it's wired to the key switch is different than the way this Trailmaster would be wired to the key switch. Um, I'm just pulling up 
your basic three wire key switch okay um, some of them have a pigtail with a plug already in it doesn't have screws or lugs the reason why I'm using this one is to kind of explain how the key switch works so key switch has three positions all right it's off middle positions ignition and when you turn it it's got a spring back position that makes the key spring back and that's your start position your crank position okay now on this particular key switches there uh, they have three lugs on there three screws three wires and they're numbered one two and three now, if you look very closely in the molding in the black plastic on the back of it each screw has a number one two and three one is the off position two is the ignition position and three is the crank position to spring back okay if this was being wired DC in the first position I'd wire a hot wire okay in the second position which is the ignition I would run that wire to the DC power um, which of course remember our power our power pin is down here the second one or the bottom one on the uh, two plug side okay I would run a wire from the two position here to that power pin okay and then in the third one I would run a power wire to my solenoid and most solenoids you see a pigtail one's got like a green wire or a green and yellow or uh, some sort of green on the wire the other one has like a red with a uh, yellow with a red stripe a yellow wire and a green wire they might have traces on them they might not the green wire in your solenoid goes to ground uh, it needs to be grounded and the other one needs to have 12 volt power okay in DC I would just wire this the 12 volt power from my solenoid to the key switch and uh, and then ground the other side and this way um, when I when I crank it sends 12 volts to the solenoid and cranks my starter okay um, so this would be wired hot this key switch now with AC power how would I what would be the difference or how would I do it if I was wiring a DC buggy to, you know for an AC CDI okay first of all first thing that is going to be different is I'm going to use this lead this uh, AC power lead okay this AC power lead is basically going to go straight to that power pin so I'm going to run a wire to the plug that goes into CDI it's going to basically be a straight lead to this okay and then with the key now here's where it gets complicated with the key switch I'm going to wire it exactly opposite in a way that I would if I was doing DC. If it was AC, I would wire this key switch all grounds. And what do I mean? Okay. So, in our off position, um, when I turn the buggy off, okay, the first position on the key switch, number one, is going to get wired to a chassis ground. Okay. Um, so, I'm running ground to the key switch. My ignition is going to run a ground wire to my CDI okay now if you remember if you watch the other eight, uh, difference between CDI videos AC DC I'm going to go over the plugs real quick on the four plug side I have my trigger coming in the wire that goes out to my coil they're right next to each other so they're the two top ones on the four plug the two bottom pins are ground and then I have my kill switch pin, which is the upper one on the um, on the two plug, and then my power plug, AC or DC, depending on the CDI, is the bottom one on the two plug. So what I would do is this, and the key switch number two would be a ground that runs to the ground pin on my CDI. All right, and then number three, I would wire my solenoid hot and wire the ground to the number three on the key switch. And what I'm doing is this. When I turn it to the first position, I'm sending ground to the CDI, which will allow it to work, okay? When I crank it over to turn it on in the third position, I'm sending ground to my solenoid. Now my solenoid starts spinning, okay? Well, my solenoids, you know, or starts, you know, spinning the starter, when that happens, the motor turns over it starts generating AC power, which now is power in CDI. And because 
when you're in position two and three, you know, even when you're in the third position, you're giving ground to both lugs. So now this is getting ground while the motor's spinning. will allow the CDI to fire, send a signal to the coil, and motor, motor fires up. Okay. So it's kind of the opposite. If I was wiring the buggy DC, I would wire hot. This would have all hot wires wired to it. If I'm wiring it AC, all I'm doing is using this as a switch to turn on and off my grounds. Now, when when I'm in a spring back and it starts and I let it go, I'm cutting off the ground to the start or you know, I'm cutting off the ground to the solenoid, which turns the solenoid off so your starter's not spinning while the motor's running. But and because the spring's back to the second position, I'm still allowing ground to get to the CDI to continue to function. Now when I turn this off, what I'm doing is cutting ground off of the number two and three lugs. It's just staying on the number one lug, which shuts off the motor, okay? Um, so it's a little more complicated cause to go from DC to AC. Well, either way, because you're, you're basically, you've got to rewire the A switch or the key switch. So I'm thinking about it. It's really no more complicated to go from one to the other. Either way, you're running a wire. It's just easier to run ground than it is to run the hot wires because in Let's say we're we're doing a DC wiring. Okay, again, we'll review that again. I've got to run a hot wire that's hot all the time and, and preferably on a fused link, okay? Um, which you can run off the, the lug of your solenoid, your hot lug on your solenoid through a fuse to the key switch. All right, but you got to run a hot wire all the way up from the back to the front of the buggy to the key switch, okay? Um, and then you have to run your you know, you're, if you're changing the wiring, um, you'd have to make sure that, you know, the hot side is coming, you know, for the solenoid is coming here, and then make sure you have a wire that's hot for the, for the DC CDI. Um, wiring this for AC for ground, as long as your chassis is grounded to the battery and the motor and everything's all grounded, um, you can basically run a bolt through the frame and then run a short lead right to there and that you have your ground. You don't have to run it all the way back to the battery. And then you just have to run your two wires, um, put a ground for your CDI and the ground for your solenoid. So hopefully this isn't too confusing. So one more time, wire in DC. Okay, and this pin is the same on both CDIs, the power pin, but if I'm, if I'm running DC, I'm going to wire this key switch. So a hot wire comes to a number one. Um, a hot wire is going back out to your CDI on number two. And a hot wire is going back out to your solenoid on number three. Okay. And that's just in this particular key switch. Some key, You might have to change this key switch if you're wiring one way or the other instead of using the stock key switch. Unless you can take a test light, which you can do. Take a test light and a multimeter and identify what wire is doing what on your key switch. And then just rewire it in the plug and have it do what you want it to do. Um, if you're wiring AC and you're using this key switch or something similar, then you're going to run a ground to one, you know, chassis ground to number one. You're going to run the ground to your CDI on number two in the second position, the ignition position, and the ground to your solenoid on number three. All right. And like I said, how that works is when you go to two and three, you're letting ground get from one to two in the three and then when it springs back you it cuts off the ground to the third lug which is your solenoid and just leaves it on a second lug turn the key off and you just cut the ground off on your cdi and you shut that down um hopefully and if you have any questions about this i'll answer them in the comments because i know it's just hard to explain um i have it in my head i mean basically at this point i can wire a buggy without a schematic in my head um, I've just done it so many times, all right? In the first few times, I had to have it all written down or, or see a schematic, and I'm not one who can read a wiring diagram like that. So I end up usually just drawing my own or making notes and, and doing it. But now at this point, I can, I can just wire a buggy up um, from scratch without looking. Um, so I know it seems like, you know, voodoo or black magic, but it's not. It's not what it is for me. It's just I've done it so many times now at this point, second nature. Um, and and don't let it intimidate you. I mean, that's kind of what I'm here for. So that being said, if you have any questions to what 
I'm, I'm sure this video is going to have questions. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them um, in, in the comment section, and then we'll hook up, whether we're not hooked up on Facebook or not already, or we need to hook up on Facebook to get you through it. I'll try and help you get through it. Um, key switch, CDIs, all that stuff, whatever you need, gotbuggies.com. And I appreciate you tuning in, as always. Um, at this point in the juncture, JD's Custom Buggies YouTube uh, channel has 190 subscribers as of today, the making of this video. Once we get to 500, I plan on giving some lucky subscriber, one of you lucky people who's going to get the same setup that I put in the video for clutching number seven, you know, the CVT system that's in there. We're talking to Oco Variator uh, in racing clutch, this, you know, the stall clutch, the stall clutch, um, an SSPG shim kit, SSPG. Um, 1500 torque spring and a banjing drive face and bell all right roughly about 200 dollars worth of clutch and stuff and a gates belt you know whatever you saw me put in this buggy for cbt system one of you guys can win um and then that same day i plan on giving away as a consolation prize of some sort to 10 people they'll get a t-shirt um hopefully you'll help me build this into something you know and really bring the buggy community together I do this because I love to do it, um, and and I want you guys to love your buggy as much as I love mine. So, uh, thanks for checking in. Till next time, I will we will have another series of wiring videos um, eventually. Like I said, that hopefully they all come together as some sort of reference point. And by watching these videos, you'll have a good understanding of how to you know uh, chase any wiring uh, gremlins in your buggy. So, thanks a lot. Peace out. Talk to you later.